the most obsolete idea is go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, get out of debt and invest for the long term in the stock market. You're probably working a job right now, one that you got from the degree that you studied for in university, you probably don't have much in savings, your living expenses seem ridiculously high, you feel as though you're not paid enough, you have credit card debt that needs taken care of. Maybe you're a student, studying for a degree that you hope can land you a job that you hope can bring in some good money, you probably don't have any savings, only a pesky student debt hanging above your head. Wealth? Getting rich? That all seems like a distant dream. How did they do it, you ask yourself? Seeing all those millionaires, billionaires, especially the ones who got there at such a young age, it baffles you, it makes you angry. They got lucky. They were born into wealth. They cheated their way to the that top. Money doesn't make them happy. Money is evil anyway. I'm not smart enough. I'm just unlucky. I think, um the key to financial prosperity is not just prayer alone. So where they get it wrong is that they conclude that prayer will bring the money, but prayer is not the only key to um, financial prosperity. There are other principles that they are not obeying. And the way God works is that if you obey certain principle and disobey the one that should give you that result, you will not still get it. So prayer is not the only key to financial prosperity. Well, um, it depends on how they do their prayer and on, based on their belief. Because normally we pray sometimes, we think that God is here to answer our prayer, and which is not yet, which is not like that. But sometimes if we have belief and keep on praying, everything will come in normal place. People having money is not, it's not, it's God that used to give money. It's not that um, God, uh, God has already designed everything. So if someone will have money, God that will decide, even like you pray from now to any time, you can't. It's God that is to give someone. Okay, uh, prayer is a spiritual activity. Yes, many people pray and are rich, but there are still so many that pray and are not rich. Jesus himself did pray while he was on earth, but prayer is to answer the things and to connect with God. We need to work and we need to do our own part as human beings physically in order to get the things that we want to get on this part of life. The things we do for God, such as giving, such as praying, praise, going to church, all everything else that we do, including saving souls, is for our benefit in eternity. So if you're going to be here on this part of the world and you're going to be successful, you're going to have to work hard like everyone else does. That's how to be rich on this part of earth. And while I understand that there is grace and there is everything else that God has provided and blessings and favor, all of that is just to aid our work, to make our work easier to be done. Um, I believe it is um, with, um, you are putting um, faith in something and you are not actually uh, putting your activities that is work into it. And because that made us understand that faith that work is dead. So you pray to God and you're not actually getting to um, um, being effective in whatever you are doing, in your skills. In, and if you notice the likes of um, their Moses, is what God has in their hands that God used for them because they have a particular skill that they have in leading. And we can see in Moses himself, he led a, he led a, um, a, a flock uh, like of sheep. So actually, so I believe that if we are being effective and being active in whatever we are doing, we are going to um, make it in life and succeed with prayers. They don't believe in God. They just pray because they don't have money. And number two is that mm, God used to see that prayer. It's just that God don't want to answer them because if God answered them, that money will not be useful. They will not help people. That's why. Maybe because because of their sin, because sin hinders our prayers. And so by so doing, when they pray, ask from God and still dip their hands into sin. Because sins make God to take away his eyes from our from people's lives. So I see it as one major thing that can cause that. When you pray and you don't have money, I think maybe it's it can be as a result of your sin. Maybe such person commits sin despite he or she prays. But what if I told you you were wrong? What if there was a way of getting there? 
an actual equation to wealth, a science behind the way money works? What if you didn't have to abandon those dreams of paying off your parents' mortgage or traveling around the world? Would you call me a liar for saying so?